what goes in in one ear and out the other, guys. Welcome to the new, uh, this is the new episode of uh, Overdrive. Another stellar edition of Overdrive. I am Sean Ortiz being joined by a bopping Mikey D. I love that and song. Tony Fox, too. I love the song. Fantastic, Fantastic song, yeah. Like it, and it, only, it can only signify one thing. It means that Mr. Tom O'Malley's on his way out. Absolutely. Absolutely. I spoke with Tom O'Malley earlier. However, I spoke with his opponent first, Mr. Howard Timbershay. Howard Timbershay at your service. <laughs> Excuse me. For some reason, my, I seem to be distracted right now because I can see the future. Hired gun Tom O'Malley has decided to wake up one day and call himself Hired Gun, knowing damn well that the only guns walking around in this town is the guns of Howard Timbershay. You can have the name, but in that ring, I'll have the last act. So at Ace Wrestling, when you go up against me, you're gonna give me the bullets to your gun. And while all the ladies are just vying for someone's attention, there's only gonna be one man standing. And that man goes by Timber Shay. Ace Nation joining me right now on Overdrive is a man who normally doesn't give me the longest of narratives. It is the hired gun himself, Tom O'Malley. However, we just heard from your opponent for tonight, Howard Timbershay, who has quite the physique, including saying that his arms are the only guns in town, and he'll render your gun useless and put you with the bullet for lights out. Timbershay, are you kidding me? Those arms are just for show. I am the true hired gun in Ace Pro Wrestling. And let me tell you something, tonight, you are just going to be another name on my list. The hired gun renders another target here tonight on Overdrive. Yep. That would be a big fat yes. Cheyenne, did I hear that right? Did uh, Howie Timbershay say that uh, Tom O'Malley was going to give him his bullets to his gun? That's correct. Ooh. And render him obsolete, if you will. Those are fighting words. Great way to kick Big things off words, here on, Mikey. on Overdrive. We've heard from both of the constituents. But it's, it's not something you want to say to a guy like Tom O'Malley. I've known Tom for years. And this is just to kick things off. What about that blockbuster main event we got, guys? Yeah, you got Lucha Underground star Ricky Reyes against Mike Donovan, one of the cornerstones of Ace. Now listen, uh, I know that uh, Ricky Reyes is a Lucha Underground superstar, but he's going to have his hands full with the Brooklyn Outlaw tonight. That much I can promise you. It's the measuring stick against the Cuban assassin. I am so looking forward to that stellar main event. Pure wrestling contest is what we're looking forward but, to. But Cheyenne, before we get there, we have our opening contest right now. That's right. The action is going to start right here on Overdrive. Howard Timbershay at 245 pounds. This man is no slouch. Look, look at the agility. He's popping right up to the second row. This guy can do the flips and the cartwheels and the high wrist. And he's got that size and physique, but he's in there against Tom O'Malley. And if you look at Tom, if you want any idea of how, how much of a badass Tom O'Malley is, just look at that beard. Red hair in the beard means that somewhere in his family tree there is Viking. That means Viking That's showed right. up to the village, made a baby, and he is a descendant. That's right. I, I actually like that reference. May I uh, ask you That's this, That's genetics. Joe. Mikey D, would you be in agreement with me that uh, Howie, Howie Timbershay is probably the best physique we've seen in Ace in quite some time? I mean, it, it's right up there with Cheyenne and his little boy Speedos. That's right. Little baby blue Speedos. I wasn't chiseled from granite. I was made from quartz. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. There's the bell in our opening contest for this week's edition of Overdrive underway. That's right. Don't meet De Niro ringing the bell. I mean, Don De Niro. Is that, isn't that what I said? I think, you, I think he was right the first time. The hired gun has been on the uh, on the hit on the hit list. Has been on the killing spree here in American Championship Entertainment. Timber Shea's gonna gonna regret that decision. Telling telling Tom get over here. Let's do this. Right off the bat, going to boots, going to going to brawl, and just putting the power game. Look at that. You're talking about the physique, but if you look at at Mr. O'Malley, he's got a lot of power behind him. He is a champion pedigree. 
I mean, Tom O'Malley is no is no stranger to gold and, and, and such. I mean, O'Malley, however, just ate that top turnbuckle as Timbershay gets control early going, using those arms. That physique going to be to his advantage. Doing I the smart thing too, putting putting the hands up the cover. Oh, here we go, ducks it. Big nice. duck kick. While O'Malley is the uh, the huskier, if you will, of the two competitors and has great power on his own. Something, tell, something tells you this is not going to be a, a crazy high flying contest, guys. Oh, baseball slide. This is going to be power and, and, and just straight fisticuffs, if you will. Talking about power, look at the, the bicep of Timber Shane. It's about the chest of Cheyenne. Yeah, it's, it's literally the size of Cheyenne's head, his bicep. I have a big chest. There we go. Breaks the count. Smart move by Timber Shane. I'm surprised that Timber Shane is taking the battle to the outside and going to compromise his uh, chisel physique. I mean, I think Timber Shea came in here with a game plan today, Cheyenne. I think he knows what he's got to do to beat the hired gun. He's got to stay on top of him. Oh, wait, look at that. And the hired gun evades the attack. Nice move by uh, Tom O'Malley. Very good. Oh! Timber Shea eats that top turnbuckle with authority. A nice clubbing blow to the back. O'Malley back in control. Going to assess the assignment, if you will to his liking, and potentially take out the target that is Howard Timbershin. Snap! Nice. Perfectly executed. Uh, dynamite. Dynamite drop in Mikey D. That's why they keep me. Two count there by Tom O'Malley. And, uh, dummy De Niro trying to make the count. Whoa, what do we got here? Look at this. Smart move by Tom O'Malley. Using that top rope. To suffocate and oh, rebound Timbershay. Hung him right up on the second rope, too, after he let him go. I think Timbershay is starting to get in uncharted territory now. This is not where he wants to be when it comes to Tom O'Malley. Oh. Would have thought that O'Malley had a gold card from Sister Margaret. Here we go. And now this is O'Connor roll. Oh! Head first. I tell you, Timbershay has been taking quite the beating here. The, the dome of Timbershay yeah. just, just got snapped. And just powering him. Beautiful, beautiful Northern Lights, guys. Beautiful. Look at the bridge. Look at the balance on the toes. Aurora Ref Borealis here in Wallington. Tom De Niro in great position as Tom O'Malley executed a beautiful Northern Lights suplex. And now Chen Lock trying to wear down his man. If you notice, he's got his hands right over his mouth and his nose, trying to keep him from breathing. Yeah, you know, we talk about the return of overdrive with the new faces, guys like Timbershay, but you still have the old guard, guys like Tom O'Malley. Yeah, some would call it new, uh, new school versus the old. Yeah. Iron gun, so got that 50 caliber forearm. Look at that. Yeah, but conspicuous by his absence is the Black Diamond. And I'm aware of there's no tour dates. You gotta believe he's somewhere in the back watching this match. Interesting that you mentioned the Black Diamond. If you look at the chest of O'Malley, he still has the paint right across the chest as a reminder. That's right. He, it's almost like he's got the blood on, on, his, on his shirt still. Well, look, look, listen, guys. Just because Tom O'Malley's in the ring right now with Howie Timbershay doesn't mean that his mind is not focused on the Black Diamond right now. O'Malley's here for the fight. He's yeah. here for the competition. Timbershay, though, showing that he will not just roll up and die. Constantly I mean, kicking out at one. I think Tom O'Malley just wants to continue his momentum here. Beat Timbershay, continue his momentum rolling on, and then he will eventually get his hands on the Black Diamond where he will finish the job he started. Yeah, but he should not take the Black Diamond lightly. With that being said, both men are down right now. As Ref Dom is going to administer the count. You are watching Overdrive. A station should have come tonight's blockbuster made event. We've got Mike Donovan taking on Lucha Underground star Ricky Reyes and arguably a pure wrestling contest here tonight on Overdrive. We invite you now to go to aceforwrestling.com. Take a look at all the information that is Ace. But Timber Shea back to a vertical base and follows his beginning onslaught up with a spinning back elbow. Timber Shea trying to mount some kind of offensive. What is he doing here? Oh, whoa. oh there's, that, whoa. there's that speed I was talking about for 245. Beautiful athleticism. And a big diving elbow. Oh, that was a close one. Unorthodox style of maneuvers we just saw. 
Very um, using physics and momentum to his advantage. Yeah. Looked like a gymnast for a second. Yeah, seriously. And Tim Roche back up. What has he got planned here, guys? You can say what you will about that. That offense is very effective right now, but O'Malley, O'Malley wow. playing possum. Inzaguri, great show. Oh, belly to belly. Beautiful suplex. Wow, great show of athleticism and the power. O'Malley now going for that north-south no regular pin. Almost a three count, guys. What a great opening contest for this week's overdrive. Great way to open things up, set the pace for the rest of the show. One thing I love about Tom O'Malley, he doesn't let this ace nation get to him. Doesn't even get into his head, he's focused on his job. He just looked right at the fans and said, this is done. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Oh, tried to get him up. Tim Roche able to shift the weight now. And struck him right in the midsection, that's gonna help with that fatigue. Oh, well, careful! Oh! Oh, wow, Tim Roche landing on his feet. Oh, that nimble athleticism of the big man. Shoulder block now. Oh, shoulder block to the midsection. I tell you, he, Rolling is, over. he has stayed on top of the contract wrestler. Oh! Seated drop kick. This is a great match, guys. Great opening contest, guys. Tim Roche now pointing up. Yeah, but he showcases some, uh, some pain in that, that joy. Going to the high rent district, fellas. Oh, look, look at that. athleticism. Whoa! Oh, went for the oh, frog whoa. splash, but he, he, in the mat. Wow, Tim Roche ended up low down into the mat. Uh oh, I, I don't like the sign of this, guys. Here we go. Got him up. My knees are going to execute it. Looks like he will. Oh. Right on his head. Right, count to 100, Dumb De Niro. There you go. Cheyenne, why don't you run us through that opening contest? Got it. Howard Taylor shaved his fight all the way with all. Went to the top. Trying to execute that low down. But in the end, it was low down into the mat, which gave O'Malley the opening. To hit that, finish it, maneuver, get the one, the two, and the three. New winner in your opening contest in overdrive, the higher gun. I think it's safe to say that Black Diamond's got a lot of, a lot of bad vibes coming his way. Yeah, but you gotta believe that the strutter is gonna lift it up when he sees Tom O'Malley once again. I can't wait for that day, Cheyenne. I really can. I can't wait for that. Hopefully, we get to see it on overdrive. But you know what we will see on overdrive? That huge main event. It's ready as with Seth Donovan. In the night on overdrive. We'll be right back. What's up, humanoids? This is your boy, the Messiah. Hey, Tony Fatu, and I'm here to tell you about Ace Anarchy coming Saturday, August 5th from the Mike Morgan Jr. Arena in Wallington, New Jersey. All your favorite superstars will be there, such as the good guy Azriel takes on wrestling's richest prize, Darius Carter, in one-on-one -on -one competition. The Brooklyn outlaw Mike Donovan looks to score a huge victory on Lucha Underground superstar, the Cuban crippler, Ricky Reyes. The lit superstar Sebastian Cage looks to defend his championship against the man everybody can trust, Everton James, and hippie Dickie Moo. And in your main event, the Ace Heavyweight Championship is on the line when the Boricua badass Danny Moff takes on the evil, vile Crowbar. All this and much more at Ace Anarchy. Again, Saturday, August 5th from the Mike Morgan Jr. Arena in Wallington, New Jersey, 67 Hathaway Street. Tickets are $20 in advance, $25 at the door. For all the action, check out AceProWrestling.com. You know what I love about Mike Donovan, fellas? You love something? The fact that he comes out here and he don't care about anybody cheering, anybody booing. He comes out here to fight. And that's what I love. I love fighters. And that's what Mike Donovan is. I heard that Donovan, in preparation, 
in preparation to get ready for this matchup, has revisited his old stopping grounds in Brooklyn, kind of remind himself of where he's come from to where he is. And he's certainly going to have to do that, take on a marquee competitor in Ricky Reyes, the Cuban. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, main event time, guys. Mike Donovan staring a hole through Ricky Reyes. You know, when this match was announced, I got excited as a commentator to call it. But as a fan, I got even more excited. This match got a lot of buzz, a lot of shares, a lot of retweets. Mikey D, how, how evenly matched these two gentlemen right now? Um, believe it or not, similar styles that, that that, that strike offense, similar height, similar hairstyles. Why not? A lot of, lot of similarities between these both two. Mike, both Mike Donovan and Ricky Reyes are arguably in the best shape of their entire career. There's the bell. I think Don Antonio is just as excited as you are, Mikey. Yeah, look at these guys. They're going straight at it. Not Connor trying to play head games, just trying to show who's the power. Connor Noble time here in the early going. Both men jockeying for position. As you can see, they're planting, expanding their feet to try to get the size and weight advantage on the man. Donovan with a headlock. And the first takedown, if you will, or not down, is going to go to the Brooklyn Outlaw. And Ray is shrugging it off. Can you get a feel for his opponent? Well, I mean, Ricky Reyes is ob obviously the veteran out of the two right now, although, you know, Mike Donovan is no slouch. He's been around the game for quite some yeah, time. Yeah, you, you really can't determine who's the true veteran. No, yeah, not, I mean, not Mikey D. These guys definitely have the, the ring time. The it, it's about the same. Yeah. Right? These guys have trained all over the place. They've helped train others. They've made a name for themselves everywhere that they have gone. I will say, out of the recent weeks of Overdrive, this is the most evenly matched main event we've had so far. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of main events, I just got I just got some interesting words that next week's edition of Overdrive. The main event is going to be for the Ace Heavyweight Championship where the Jurassic Juggernaut Vince Steele will take on the current reigning and defending three-time champ in Dan Moff. That is huge news. Mikey D, I don't mean to correct you, but you mean Vince Steele is going to finish the job he started next week on Dan Moff. Tomatoes and tomatoes. Hey, Ooh. I would never question the will and intestinal fortitude of Danny Moff. You can best believe that he's going to send a message. Look at that, to Mike everyone Donovan. involved at Mustafa Mustafa when he takes on Big Steel next week. But right now, here on Overdrive, we take it to your current main event in progress. It's Donovan and Reyes. It's Donovan taking a small break as the officials are going to be administering a count now. I believe he's at two. Mike Donovan's playing it smart. He's taking, he's getting to the outside, taking a break, figuring his, his situation out before he gets back in the ring. He locks back up with Ricky Reyes. I don't think there's anything wrong with what he's doing right now. Brilliant move right there. Break the count. Take all the time you need, Mike. And that's something that eventually will do. These are things that either man would do if they were in the opposite position. Now Donovan going to get a clean ring entry. Exactly. Either one of these guys know how good the other is. So, like I said, I've never seen a match this even. Whoa, look at this. Brings him back in the hard way. Wow. Donovan feeling it on the lower back there. And now Ray is going to go right to the left arm. Is that correct? Yes. Well, there it is. Look at that. Snapmare. It means a lot if you can take out the left arm. Oh, look at his pinning oh, combination. Inverted crucifix cradle pin. We said, it was, we said it was going to be wrestling, guys. Yeah. The crippler's going to work. He's, he's the tactician. He's focusing right on the south paw. It was a beautiful uh, snap arm drag. Oh, dropping the knee right across. This is where it just comes to the veteran role now with Ricky Ray. He's working the body part, man. Brilliant moves. It is a, known, a, a little known thing. That if you take out the wheels of the truck, the truck stops. People forget that. If you could take out the left arm of Donovan, knowing that he is a lefty, he is a southpaw, you take away a lot of that offense. You take at least a half of it, half of it away, maybe even more. But also think about this. The years of Donovan being in the ring, that it becomes a target over time, and Reyes yeah. knows that. Absolutely. Even that big, big metal knee brace that Mike Donovan's got on his legs right now. Oh, Ooh. using the trunks. Smart move by Donovan to exuberate Reyes into that second turn look. And now, leg hook, but did not clasp the hands. Mike Donovan going for the quick count. And now the mounted punches. And again, going back to that southpaw that. that you mentioned. I don't, 
I don't think Ricky Reyes wants to get into a striking game with Mike Donovan. I agree. I agree. Be quite honest with you. I would definitely give the advantage to Mike Donovan on this one, on the striking game. But Mike Donovan's got a sound strategy right now, guys. I mean, you just stay on top of him. Don't let him get, don't let up, don't let him get any breathing space. Donovan's keeping his man in the corner, which is actually the strategy that Reyes had just a few moments ago. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice splash. Yep. Avalanche splash by Donovan early the near four. But now, somewhat of a chin lock. Is that, is that a chin lock? Yes. Yes, that is a chin lock, Cheyenne. That is not somewhat of a chin lock. That is a chin lock. There's a different variation to it, as you saw in your opening contest. Well, I saw Tom O'Malley in There's no joke there. There's not. I mean, can I just go on record by saying each main event we've had so far in these overdrive weeks have just been better than the last. Oh, yeah. And after Mikey D's blockbuster announcement next week's. It's only going to get better, exactly. Oh, yeah. But I tell you, if you want to continue to keep up with overdrive, you got to go to ace4wrestling.com for all the exclusive content, all things overdrive. Not to mention... I'm, I'm, Ticket sales, merchandise, all that good stuff. I'm told if you if you go on AceWrestling.com, they'll actually tell you Ryan Peterson's weight. Is that true? I believe so. I believe so. Ooh. But I heard that due to his weight, we have to use it in the metric system. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Donovan's got the advantage here. I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not saying that Ryan Peterson is obese, but I did see him come into the uh, arena in a forklift. Moving on to the main event here on Overdrive. Ooh. Mike D, you seem apoplectic. You I'm, seem I'm actually forward. watching this match going back and forth and just seeing this ferocity coming out of Donovan, something we haven't actually seen from Donovan in a while. Look at that. You can see all the training that Donovan has been putting himself through throughout these weeks to, to prepare for this match. And now, could be a signature move. Yes, the back suplex. Nobody I've, does it better than Donovan. I think the, uh, Mike Donovan is not only preparing for Ricky Reyes, but I think he's preparing for uh, uh, a big-time run here at Ace. And it's going to start Some at the expense of Ricky Donovan's Reyes. Here. Some, have yeah. said, some have said that it's just a matter of time. And Donovan is a former champion at every level here in Ace. He wants to get back into the title scene, right back into the title hunt. And what would it mean, you know, Donovan knocking off the former Diamond Division champion in Ricky Reyes? I would make huge waves right now in the Ace Nation, I'll tell you that. Look at that execution. And if you want to get execution just like that, if you want to be a pro wrestler and you want to start your training, you can come to the Ace Pro Wrestling Academy three days a week here. You can go to aceforwrestling.com for all the information to begin your training to become a pro wrestler here at American Championship Entertainment as we are live at the Morgan Jr. Arena. A lot of young kids out there want to be pro wrestlers. If you want to start your dream, there's, there's only one way to go. There's only one place to go, and that's the Ace Training Academy. Yeah, we teach you the right way. Coming here to learn is a lot different than doing it in your bedroom or doing it in your backyard, that's for sure. Absolutely. A big although, step up. Although I did own a few wrestling buddies in my day. I mean, I don't know about you guys. The straight right. I broke up with her. Ray is in control now. Neck breaker. Neck breaker now. <laughs> I hope that, that everybody in the locker room is taking notice. Gotta take this some is notes. a huge contest. All the young guys in the locker room, I, I hope they're huddled up next to those TVs and they're watching this because this is how it's done, fellas. This is how it's done. The inside turn, curtain, sellout. That's what this is, guys. These guys are going back and forth and back and forth, just throwing everything, trying to prove whose ring it really is. Up, oh, single in the end is Reyes, but Donovan counters. Reyes puts the brakes. Pushing him right off. Whoa! Look at he rolled so hard he got his hood back on. That right there is entering prowess. Yeah, it is. He wanted to look cool while he did it. Oh wow. Donovan telling Reyes that he's got nothing but Reyes holding yeah, on. That. Nice pin. Look at that. Whoa! That was close. Almost over right there, guys. Even the ref got tangled up. Back kick. Could be, be time. Time. Could be time for the south side combination. Yeah, there it, it is. is. Just planting Reyes' face. Oh! Man, how close are we getting right now, guys? Tom, it almost had him. 
Not as close as close can be. Even Donovan thinks that's three right now. That's why he's arguing with his dummy. Even the fans. Fans are trying to get Reyes back on his feet. Yeah, trying to fire him up right now. Oh, watch out. Wait a minute, look at this. Caught Inside. Him. Caught him. Oh, Whoa. Oh, that was real close. I thought that was it. Nice. Oh, bicycle kick. Big kick right to the face. Mikey D, you know what time it is. Donovan set him up. Donovan set him up. Pillar the post. That's it. No. 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 You know, you know what this is. Reyes didn't go down, though. The oh. kick. Kicked him so hard, Donovan almost choked on his hoodie. Rolling him up now does Reyes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two. Is it? What a match. Reyes signaling for the end. Both men take it into overdrive. Oh, I think this is the end, fellas. I think this is the end. Ooh, there it is. Sit out. Come on, Ricky, on the lungs. Oh. Whoa. Somehow. Somehow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not impressed with Mike Donovan, I, I, I defy you to tell me otherwise. There are no issues about this. This is a stellar match here on Overdrive. The Ace Locker Room has got to be watching this. Just the same way that you are. We thank you for watching Overdrive. What a main event, guys. Throwing the back elbow now. Donovan trying to get some separation. Locking now. They're just keeping him right in the corner of his Reyes. And go. now Reyes back in control, but for how long? Because the pendulum continues to swing, guys. Well, he's the really just he's taking teaching, the tool. He's just teaching the fools and Wallington oh. how to count and just. Oh. Donovan doing, doing the smart thing here. Come on, Donovan. Don't ruin it. There it is. Donovan has until five. He watch out, minute. watch out. Oh, the knockout. Please One, tell me that's it, guys. Two, three. Beautiful. Big time win for Donovan. Mikey D, why don't you take us to that? Ricky Reyes was, was getting the better of Mike Donovan, just keeping him pinned in the corner, had him up and mounted, which is low in the strikes. Got into five. Donovan snuck out. Face first into the turnbuckle, went for the... Went for what appears to be the eyes. He's caught him with the south side knockout. Went One, two, three. to be the eyes. That was the eyes. You want to play it back? I couldn't tell. The gloves uh, were he was, he was wiping the sweat off his forehead. Uh, he looked like he was on. a little hot. You know what? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just trying to trying to fix it, make it look nice. You two district attorneys may be able to defend that questionable victory by Mike Donovan in that five-star matchup, but you cannot defend next week. Blockbuster main event. Blockbuster overdrive. We're talking the eight heavyweight title will be on the line when the Jurassic Juggernaut, Vince Steele, looks to challenge Danny Mom. I can't wait for that, guys. I cannot wait. Mikey D, come on. You want to put your money on somebody right now? I don't you know. You got a couple seconds. I don't know. I'm going I'm to have to go with the champ. Well, you're going to have to tune in next week when you want all the action. Kick it into overdrive.